Oh, oh. Got a lip. It's my Elvis impersonation. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Look at my liney forehead. Look at it. I need Botox. I'm getting it. I am at some point with my Christmas money. I tell you, I'm off to that aesthetics aesthetics clinic, and I'm Botoxing me me being. I can't have that. Look. What's all right? I can move. I don't want to move, all right? I want to be frozen. Frozen. What's that song from Frozen? Oh, I don't know. You know. Look. No. Oh, can't deal. I've got a line. I've got a line or two. Oh, I can't deal. Anyhow, many you. Hope you are doing well and fine and la di da di da I have got a huge mungus. Yes, look at the size of that. Sheen hole. So, we've got some real goodies in there. Goody goodies. Goody goodies. Do you know what? I just released the hugest kraken you'd ever see. You know, with me nevers and me problems and that, I, I, I just go all the time and then all of a sudden it gets a bit thunged up. Then I have to take the laxatives and it takes a few days to push through and I just managed it. Too much information. Probably. Am I going to stop telling you things like that? Probably not. <laughs> but hey ho, what could we say? Anyway, I put someone was, um Sarah, um, she put on, hi Sarah, she put on, uh, she wrote, oh, freaking hell, Lee, get it out. She wrote on my comments that she just bought a white eyeliner. So I was like, you know what? I used to wear white eyeliner back in the days. Um, and I had like a white sort of eyeliner, but a cream one. So I decided to bring it out. I said to her, I'm going to bring it out. I did, look. I don't know what I've done, because this weren't the look I was going for, look, um, I mean, I think I went to have maybe blended it a bit more, I don't know, Shoot, let's see if I can do something, oh god, poke my eyeball out, does that look a bit better? I really ain't the best at makeup, I really ain't, you know what I mean? My Eugene Poo jeans off. What do you think? Do I look like a bit of a numpty? Numpty Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Numpty Dumpty Dumpty. She had a great fault. Yeah. What do you think of the barn it is? Well, I've got it in a pony. Look. What? what? Oh. I've got lines. I don't like it. I need Botox. Anyhow, anywho. Callie's made me a quaffy. I'm going to have a sip. I haven't taken my pills today yet either and it's quite late. So I am going to have to take them straight after this. Lisa, remind yourself. Remind yourself. Get brain fog, I could tell you. Right, anyhow, any you, before we swiftly move along, so swiftly moving on, it's time for my laugh on the loo with your girl. Lisa Lou, where's my glasses? Oh, yeah. Because I can't see a thing, you know that, blind as bat. Right, so here we go. Not going camping, I never would have done that one. <sighs> I have to mark it off, otherwise I'll tell you the same ones, because I forget. Are you ready? A magician was working on a cruise ship in the Caribbean. The audience was new each week, so he always did the same tricks. The problem was the captain's pet parrot saw all the shows and began to understand how the magician did every trick. It started squawking in the middle of the show. Look, it's not the same hat. Look, he's hiding the flowers under the table. Hey, why are all the cards the ace of spades? The magician was furious. But as it was the captain's parrot, there wasn't much he could do about it. Then one day the cruise ship ran aground and sank. The magician found himself cast adrift on a piece of wood with the parrot. They glared at each other but said nothing. Finally, after a week, the parrot said, <laughs> OK, I give up. Where's the boat? <laughs> That's good. That one is good. I don't care what any... Yeah, I like that one. What do you call a French man wearing sandals? Philippe? Philippe, <laughs> Philippe, 
Philop. You read so. Phil, you're that fun, I think. Anyway, that's my laugh on the loo with your girl. Lucy Lou. Now you also know that's holiday. You know that summer day. Come on, get those shoulders are going back because it's time for my one thousand two hundred and twenty-seven facts to blow your socks off. I'm Elvis Presley. Oh yes, I am. Right. Deep nephobia. Deep nephobia. The fear of dinner party conversations. Now, no, I definitely ain't got dipnophobia. I could chew the hind legs of a donkey with my talking. I tell ya. I, you can't go merging edgeways with me there. I tell you, if you had a dinner party, you'd be like, Lise, Lise, shut up. You're talking too much. And I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. Nomophobia. The fear of being out of out of a mobile phone contact. Hang on. Nomophobia. The fear of being out of mobile phone contact. Callie's got that. My mum's just got that, definitely. She, honestly, well, she's broke her screen. And that's funny that I'm reading that. So she's broke her, well, actually, she didn't break her screen. She was doing something in the kitchen. And one of my cupboards, it's like a, an open cupboard, as, as I was like, because it hasn't got like a, a, a door on the front. That's how it's meant to be. Well, one of the mugs fell out, said cupboard, smashed onto her phone. And of all the times it could have been done anyway, she, she, she's saying it looks like a green screen now. And you can see at the top it's all cracked. Anyway, some fella's coming to do it on Monday. She had to pay a £30 deposit to make sure, obviously, that she weren't going to let him down because he's ordering the parts. It's going to cost her £240. Yeah. I kid you not. £240 just to put a new screen on the front. I tell you, so she, I said to her, and get yourself a flip case. So she's ordered herself a flip case and an, uh, some special screen protector or something. But 240, do you know what I mean? You can go and buy a phone for that in Argos, but obviously she's got a special edition BTS one that she got for Christmas about three, four years ago. Could have been five years ago now, you know, time goes so quick. But anyhow, anyhow, lack, lacanophobia. Fear of vegetables. Cows, you've also got that as well. Callie's got fear of vegetables. She's not eat no vegetables. In fact, I make her carrots. That's the only vegetable she'll eat is carrots. And even that, I have to chop them up, put them in the water, put a bit of salt and two tablespoons of sugar. And then you let it reduce. I mean, carrots go pretty sweet anyway. Oh, but not sweet enough for her. So then you let it reduce until they go really sweet and then she'll eat them. It's a nightmare. Won't eat fruit, won't eat veg, but she does got multivitamins. Not sure it makes a difference, but there you go. Anyway, that's for 1,327 facts to blow your shock off. Oh, yes, it is. In my makeup today, I found, well, I don't know how long I've had, I'm moving closer. Move closer. They used to make me sing that when I was 10. There was a place where I used to live called Tees, and he was like an amusement arcade. I could see me ring light in my glasses, sorry. I'll take them off. He was an amusement arc he was an amusement arcade. And whenever I went over there and I used to play this game called Circus Charlie, I loved it. My sister was better than me though. She was better than me at Circus Charlie. I was a bit shite. Um But yeah, they all used to say to me, Oh Lisa, will you sing? Lisa, will you sing? And I always used to sing Move Closer by Phyllis Nels. Nelson, that is. Um or what is it? What's that one they used to make me sing? Sticking yourself somewhere. Who looked just like you? He walked like you do. I thought it was you. What song is that? As he turned the corner. That one they used to make me sing that as well. You are everything. Yeah. I said, just sing it for me. Obviously, I sang it a bit better than that. I'm not putting any effort into it. You know what I mean? I'm just showing you. Me vunks. But anyhow, anywho, I am going to get on now. Sorry, which is snodge bucket. Do you know what? Since I've had this blonde hair, right? Well, it's not blonde, it's blondish, isn't it? I just can't hit a right makeup look. I think I look terrible. I'm a dude Botox, so no, I ain't going to lie to you. Um, but I look at myself and I think, you look putty. I like, my face appears to be like putty. 
like a putty. It could be because I'm 51, I don't know. But I feel like I've got a putty face, like putty, like Play-Doh. And then now I've got lines on said forehead. And I, I just don't want it. I want it gone. Botox after Crimbo. I'm telling you, get them needles in me right now. Any aesthetics out there that want to give me some free Botox, I'll be your guinea, all right? I'll be said guinea pig and be happy to do so. As long as you don't charge me. Right, let's get into this. Let's get into this, all right? One of the things in here I've used already. Now, I will tell you about it in a minute because it's phenomenal, all right? But anyway, this is my huge sheen haul. And first of all, I got... Now, listen, do I know the prices? The answer to that question, as you all very much well know by now, unless you're new to my channel, in within which case, if you are, hey... Lisey Lou's here, she doesn't ever remember the prices. In fact, I don't write them down. I don't know. But I take wild guesses at what I might have paid for them. So never actually listen to me and think, is that the precise uh, monies that was paid? Because nine times out of ten, it weren't. I'm just guessing, all right? So if I say they're about a quid, they was either under a quid or between, or maybe just over a quid, which I want to say about these. So I got these. They were about a quid. <laughs> and they are, well, scrubbers for the good old kitchen. Let's open them up. There you go. That's what they look like. It's a pink one. So you've got the scrubby sides and the soft sides. Oh. I'm going to salivate because I want to eat it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat one after. I think I'm joking. So I've got them in all different colours there. Half the time, you know, I, I say, yeah, these are for the kitchen. They end up in me gob. Do you want to see me eat one? I bet you don't. That's why I'm not going to do it. If anyone wants to see me actually eat a sponge and you know how I'll do it, let me know. Because I'll be quite happy to put it on a short. So I've got them. Like I say, it's about a quid. Anyhow, this. I've got one word for it. And the word is, oh... My God. Okay, there is no other word apart from, oh my God. It was about two pounds. Was it about, because I'm sure I got one on there for, because I've got two of these. One I got for myself and one I've already um, gift wrapped for me moons. So one was about two pounds something and the other one was just under three. Because I say, like, you know, with Sheen, good old Sheen, you're never going to get it the same price, all right? Not for you, not for me. Not for a cup of tea, you know what I mean? But anyway, this is an epilator, but apparently it has some sort of nano glass technology. Some nano glass technology. It comes in a box. And if you see any hairs on it, it's because it has been really used since I got it. So that's what it looks like. Now, last night I did my face with it, my whole face. Now, maybe that weren't such a good idea because your face is sensitive and I didn't really think about it and it was a little bit sore afterwards. However, I, you can't feel it and I'm not sure if you can see it, but it actually, oh, honestly, even when I'm touching it now, it feels like a, you know what I say, like a baby's bum. It's so smooth. It's just so smooth, so soft. Uh, my skin feels just beautiful when I touch it. But anyway, um, I don't know if you can see any little layers there. But what you do, you put it on. You just go in circular motions like this. And it literally takes off all the hairs and it is painless. Painless, there's no, like, you don't, doesn't hurt you. Here we go, I'm going to get it off. Oh, my God. It is, I, no, I've never felt anything that soft. I can't even believe that that is my skin. Um, what the hell? I don't even know how it does it, to be honest. It makes you go a bit white, to be fair. Because um, I reckon it takes off a bit of the top layer of your skin and all. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's nuts. Do you know what? One minute, I'm gonna. I've got some hand cream here. I'm gonna rub some hand cream over the top. Just a bit of cream. See if it. Oh, that's it. Oh my god. So it was just dry from the dry skin. Look, we've brought the colour of my tattoo back out again. And when I say it is like glass, and it's so. so that ain't our technology, mate. I'm telling you, that's that's them. Yeah? Some green men up there. Nano, nano. Nano technology. Oh, well. What? The only word I've got for this... Oh, I've covered it in cream. The only word I've got for this is wow. Please, 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 any woman who watches this, you will never have to shave again. Because I did my legs last night as well. And I even done my bikini line with it. And then once you're done, you just rinse it under the tap. And it's ready to go again. It's my... I don't, there's no words for it, how good I think it is. Um, yeah, there's no words. I just know that I'm going to... Oh, my... I wish... I wish you could just be here, all of yous. Just to feel my arm. Because you wouldn't believe it. You'd go like, what? No way. It is like glass. Oh my God. I can't tell you. I'm really excited about this product. I really am. You'd think I was indulging it, wouldn't you? But I ain't. But I am from my own personal thing. Nothing, nothing to do with, with Sheen. In, in fact, Sheen, if you're watching me, right? should be paying me for this. <laughs> I'm joking. But boy... Please, girls, get one of those. Just write an epilator. You've seen what it looks like. It comes in a box like this. Um, yeah, I'll show you it one more time because, like I say, I, it's pink. It should look like that. It's got, like, a glass. Get it. And then you text me and you tell me it ain't the best thing you ever bought. You can do the nevers with it and everything. I ain't done the nevers yet. Oh, but I will. Anyway, so that's that. Oh, leg. Absolutely love it. There's my long old lips. Like my same with receipt. Anyway, then um, I've got a friend of mine and she's alone. Uh, she's alone at Christmas, bless her heart. Um, look what like she has been for the past few years. She hasn't got any family. Um, and so she doesn't ever get any presents or anything. So I was like, well, I'm going to send her some. Um, so I've done her a box of stuff over there. Um, and in fact, after I've done this video, I'm going to wrap these last bits up that I show you that are for her. And then I'm going to go post office. Oh, wait, it looks quite dark. I don't even know what the time is. But anyway, if I have got time, I'm going to go post office get them off. So I can't open them because, like I say, they are for her. But they're five pairs of really cute socks, as you can see. And again, they were probably about three quid, something like that. Uh, then I bought this for Callie's little boyfriend. It is a vintage trimmer, professional T9, it says. And it was three pounds. And it is... Hey. Oh, it's like it's in there. All the attachments are in there. So we've got this attachment. Do you hear my belly? <laughs> it's off again. Uh, the USB thing in me bobbiny boo, a little brush to clean it out, and this is the shaver itself. Um, and what you can do with it, you can do like all them intricate things in your hair door when you shave. And um, I've already got one in the house actually, and I've got to be honest, they are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So I did get one of these for my nephews to share as well, just as like a little stocking fillery thing. Um, yeah, so that's for Callie's boyfriend. Let's get that back in there. Get it back. I said, get it back. And obviously, that's the attachments and stuff. And all that me long keo. Do you know what? I need to get some more uh, wrapping paper and tags. I've run out of them and all. Oh. Uh, anyhow then I got this I can't take it out it's for my friends my one of my best friends son it's called the most tricked out flying spinner and I think it was about nearly seven quid um 
but I don't, I mean, I know it spins, it's a flying spinner, it spins in the air. So, brilliant little toy. I think you literally just hold it and then it takes off and spins, something like that, anyway. So, that's for him. Uh, oh, right, so for my friend, um, who I'm sending the parcels to, she loves Elvis. She absolutely loves Elvis. So, I mean, who don't? I mean, he was the most beautiful man in the world. Um, anyway, so I got her some Elvis socks. Look at them, and they're gorgeous. Oh, I'm all shook up. Oh, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Elvis gone wrong, I am. <laughs> uh, so I got them, and they was about £2, which I think is fabulous for £2, because it comes in this little pouch with this special little elvis -y endorsed sticker or whatever that is I don't know um then my friend wanted she said to me oh I've seen this top on team you and I want it well I managed to find it on Sheen as well and I thought well I already had some stuff in my basket in Sheen and I thought if I order just this on the team you then I'm gonna have to pay shipping but I had a few bits obviously in the basket so I thought I'll have a look on Sheen if I can find it and I just saw it and managed to so she said to me oh, I want it I said I'll get it for you for Christmas and she said oh no I'll pay you for it I said no you won't that'll be your Christmas present so she really wanted it so it's this like great top like that it's got she just loved it she was oh i love it so much so it's got these buttons there and then it sort of opens up there can you see that like what is that called asymmetrical is it opens up but she just was like i love it so much so i got her that for christmas along with a couple of other little bits and that was nine pounds <sighs> i tell you this Crimbo Milarkey. It just skint you out, doesn't it, eh? You're like, oh. I'd sell my body if I thought I could make any money, I'd tell you. Uh, right, anyway, and then I got uh, my friend who is on her own. I got her these slippers. And I think they were brilliant for the money. They was only £2.50. £2.50. You can't go wrong, can you? Can you go wrong, now? You can't. Look. Gorgeous, they're like pink and lilac. Lovely. So pretty. So so pretty. They look like giving two different slippers, but I think that's how they're meant to be, to be honest. I think that's how they're meant to be. So that's her slippers. Uh, and then, oh right, okay, so I got, where's the other one? Oh, so I got also my friend, uh, who I got the top for, she wanted one of these that I've got in my front room, it's the LED mini starlight. And I have them on all the time, they look so nice, so, so nice. take it out and show you there's the remote we get like a little remote control with it and then it's like that I don't really want to open it obviously because it's a crimbo prez so let me put that back in there it gets like a little top what in the name of is the law of the lord is that that, my leads are well long. What is that? Well, I tell you, my lead's longer than that. I don't know why they're giving that tiny little thing. God blimey. Anyway. That's about... You can get between three and six pounds. Let's just say. All right. Uh, and then I see this to myself. I was like, now that is a bit of little old me. You know I like my bling. This was about £1.87, around and about. It is a scrunchie, a diamonty style type scrunchie. But it's not even diamonties, it's just material. They lied, all right? They freaking lied. Tell me lies. They tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. But anyway, it's still cute. I'll put it up there because I want to take this one out and put it in when I'm finished. Um, oh, and then I bought 
these socks for Callie's boyfriend. There's loads of socks in there. All different colours. Grey, black. I'm, just, I'm down there looking at them myself. Grey, black, white, blue. All different colours. Look at them. And they're really good quality ones. And they were just under three quid. Come on. Come on. Can you, can you go wrong? You can't. You can't, I tell you. You really can't go wrong. So, that's them. And I've got actually more of those as well. Exactly the same for my uh, friend's son. So, they're all the same, aren't they? Oh, no, they might not be. Oh, no, they are. They are. Hang on. Yeah, no, they are. They just put them in differently. But if you can see how thick they are, look, I'm not even joking. They are so, 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 honestly, so good for the money. I swear. And I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky, I'll be there. Do you remember that song? I don't even like it. Then I'm singing it. Oh, I've got itchy wrist. Um, and then... Callie was like, Mum, I want a baby. I was like, whoa. <laughs> she does, though. She wants a baby. Listen, she's 23. If she stays with someone and wants a baby, then you go and do that, my girl, baby girl. And if you need babysitter on tap, Mama's here. Anyway, so this is for my best friend's grandson. When I say it is divine, Look at that. And it is soft as soft could be. So it's like a little hoodie. Well, it's not like a little hoodie. It is. It's a little hoodie. Fleece hoodie. Look at them. <laughs> With the little bottoms to match. Look. Oh, my God. How cute. And I got it in. Oh. Did I get it in? Nine to twelve months. Nine to twelve months. It's about six months at the moment. But obviously, babies grow quick, don't they? So I thought I'd rather get him the bigger size and then she could put him in it, or even she can put it in it, you know, to go to sleep or whatever, because it's oh it's so soft. So I've got that. And that's where Sheen discount code if anyone wants to use it, because anyone can. There you go, I'll show you that. Code TSX15. Use that. They, they put them in the thing, but if you put it in, you'll get 15% uh, off your orders. So if you fancy going on there, just use the code. It's a free for all. Um, then I've got this razor. Now, it's beautiful. And that's why, I think it was about 275 Now, I don't remember who I bought it for. Now, this is the problem. I really do not remember who I bought it for. But it's gorgeous. It comes in a case like this. And it's rose gold. Oh, what's that? Oh, blade just dropped out. And it's rose gold. Look at that. And it's so heavy. It's beautiful. Um, oh, there's a mirror in there. Look. pick a -boo. But I don't know. I swear, I don't know who I bought it for. I don't know. So what do you do when you don't know who you bought it for? Keep it yourself? Oh, there's an idea. <laughs> but I ain't going to need it now. I've got my epilator. So it's going to go to a geezer. But I just don't know what geezer it's going to. But I'm sure I'll find one. Um, and then I got these for my friend. Apparently, hang on a minute, is there only one in there? There is. Oh, that's a farce, because I think they're a couple of quid. So you see this, you put these underneath your drink, this way, and then it uh, makes your drink, your glass flash or something like that. That's what them batteries are for. It's something like that, all right? I'm not quite sure. So that's for me friend as well. And I think this is the last thing. I'm around. It is the last thing. 
And the last thing I got again is for my friend who loves Elvis. And these are Elvis. Elvis the pelvis badges. And I gold. <gasps> Came by today, cause he was telling everyone in town about the love that he had found and the reason name of his latest flame. There you go, there's me Elvis. Down, 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 down. I like Elvis. There we go. So I've got all them. And then he said goodbye. <laughs> what else was there for me to do but cry? Oh, yes. I love that song. It's my favourite song. My raised the name. Of his latest flame and my reason name I'm gonna need his flame. I could be an Elvis impersonator, or a girl version, alright? Look, I've got the lip. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm joking. I have to laugh at myself, honestly. I'm a twat. Anyhow, any hue. Did I tell you how much they were? can't remember a couple of quid anyhow listen uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video um if you have please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and please hit your notification bell because it tells you every time that little old me or not so little old me uploads um i'd like to say thank you again oh do you know what so i went on my phone today and it had shown me all of these messages that had come through on my channel. And it said one day ago. But they didn't, they didn't come up one day ago. They just come up today. And I was like, what? So I sat and got back to them. I was sat on the loo having a poo. And I just thought I'd get back to you all, you know. So when I'm getting back to you all sometimes, that's where I am. I'm soz. Soz, not soz. To tell the truth. Um... But there was loads there. I mean, loads. And I was like, oh, my God. And I had to try and get back to them all. Well, not try. I did get back to them all. I always get back to you all. But, yeah. So, if I ever don't, please, please, as I've said to you, don't think I'm ignoring you. I don't do that. Excuse me. Do you know? It's just that. Oh, and our cups. <gasps> oh, dear. That for some reason, sometimes, YouTube don't send them through. And I don't know why that is. All right. But that's what it is anyway i'd like to say thank you to all my new subscribers um and to all my existing ones and just to tell you i love you all very much i appreciate you i appreciate all the messages that you send to me and everything just means the world to me and uh today is friday it's very dark now uh i don't know if i want to get to the post office probably not but um Whatever you're doing, have a lovely weekend. I don't know when this video will go on. It could go on Saturday, could go on Sunday, could go on Monday, with in which case by then the weekend would have gone. But I hope you have a lovely weekend, whatever you're doing, and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye.